What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski and I am back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and in today's video I'm going to be playing through every single stage of Chaos Difficulty Colosseum Frankie. Now uh, the actual Frankie unit himself probably isn't one of the better Colosseum units however he still has some uses and even if you don't want to use him that much he is still pretty good socket fodder for other Frankies such as 3 day 2 year Frankie and Strong Ward Frankie so even if you don't have the sockets ready for your Frankies you can still farm him to try and socket out your other characters. So, without further ado, guys, let's get straight into the video. So round number one is against Bon Clay. So this Bon Clay character is actually quite tricky because he is surrounded by a whole bunch of just random fodder characters. They all have a one turn cooldown and his preemptive attack will go ahead and buff all their defenses for three turns as well as applying a five hit combo shield to himself. Now this team that I am using is a legend Blackbeard friend captain along with a Shiki team. So it is a driven based team. The subunits obviously can be switched around but Lao G works really really well with Shiki as when you use Lao G special and then use Shiki special following that, it gives all your driven characters matching orbs as well as a 1.75 times or a type boost, sorry. So uh, he's absolutely insane. And obviously Blackbeard, his special 30% health cut that goes through barriers as well, meaning that uh, Von Clay just gets 30% of his health, just take it away immediately. And as you saw just before, his actual attribute changes every two turns. So that is actually a crazy thing about him. So you can just, you know, sort of wait until a good attribute comes up and then you can go ahead and burst him down. Uh, but you know, with the Blackbeard team, you can just do as much damage as you possibly can to him. It is absolutely fine. The Thousand Sunny can be used after the defense shield has gone away to blow away all the surrounding characters. And also, you know, Golden Pound Usopp is very, very useful just to delay all of them uh, while the defense shield is up because that defense shield is very, very annoying and makes it very, very hard for clearing out all of these subunits. And, you know, just the other characters like Doflamingo, the orb boost is kind of necessary. And NL's just kind of there just in case if he turned red, it would be kind of good. If uh, if he turned red, then NL just does a lot more damage to him. But all in all, a pretty simple stage with Legend Blackbeard as a friend captain or your own captain if you do own him yourself. But I will see you guys at round number two. Round number two is against Papagoo. Now, Papagoo is actually pretty annoying again, and the way that I've sort of beat him is I go ahead and use Golden Pound Usopp to delay him while he actually despairs us for five turns. Uh, luckily enough, if you do have, uh, you know, level three anti-despair, that does help considerably as you can go ahead and still end up doing damage to him while he's still delayed with Golden Pound active. Highly recommend to have max anti-despair sockets for this stage. So, I go ahead and use Golden Pound, and then once those two despair turns are up, I go ahead and activate all my specials and burst down Papagoo on one turn and then I use the remaining turns available just to do damage on the rest of the units around him. Now if you actually leave him alive and I believe it's on turn three, four or five, on one of those turns he'll actually go ahead and re-summon any units that have already been killed. So definitely recommend to take him out first, focus on him and then you can go ahead and focus on the surrounding characters.
Moving on to round number three, it is against Blamenko. Now, Blamenko is pretty tough. Uh, however, you know, just a double NL team uh, with some stable recovery can actually just beat this guy pretty easily. But it might take you guys a decently long time as he has approximately 5 million HP. So with this team, I'm able to kill him off in two turns. But obviously, as I said, you can just use a double NL team. It will take you a bit longer because he does have so much HP. You just have to chip down at his HP ever so slightly. If you get him under 20%, he's basically going to one-shot you. So make sure don't get him under 20% when he's going to attack you. Uh, he does have a delay protector as well, which does make him quite annoying to beat as well. But, you know, as I, as I keep saying, double NL shouldn't have too many issues with this Blamenko stage on round number three of Chaos Coliseum Frankie. So round number four against Brook is quite an interesting boss because he goes ahead and reduces your HP by 90%. He'll give you block orbs and also lock those orbs for three turns. Now, this is very easy to deal with knowing that Raid Boss Kuma is a unit in the game. So he's very, very good for this specific stage. Go ahead and use him. I'm also bringing Lola for another orb booster, Koza for a type booster, and then Doflamingo once again as another orb booster because we get basically three turns to do damage before he attacks us and we're going to die because we don't have any recovery with this team. However, However, you can just go ahead and use the double Mihawks and you can really just go ahead and use Koza and Doflamingo and then attack normally in the first turn and just kill him off, but honestly, it doesn't really matter. He's very, very easy to beat. And now we've finally reached the final stage against Frankie. However, on battle number four, we do have to fight Brook once again. So with double Crocodile, this is insanely easy. Like, this is super, super easy with the double Crocodile team. So when this actually happens here, we're going to go ahead and use our Robin to put us down to one HP so we get the most damage output possible. We can go ahead and use our Kuma to get those full board of matching orbs. Then we can go ahead and use one of our Crocodile specials and just do regular attacks and we can actually kill him off in a single turn. Now, we actually can do the exact same thing when Frankie rolls around as well. However, one thing about Frankie is that he goes ahead and empties all your orbs. So, not having any orbs is obviously a really, really bad thing. However, we have Heracles and we also have Doflamingo to enable us to get a full board of matching orbs. Then, once again, we can go ahead and activate our second Crocodile special and do regular attacks and kill him off in one turn. So, Crocodile is just an amazing OTK captain for this Coliseum. Beats Brook and Frankie Frankie in one turn. So that is basically going to conclude this Colosseum video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And if you guys did, make sure to smack the like button down below. And if you want to stay up to date with all of the content I post on my channel, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But other than that, guys, I will see you guys within the next video.